Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Ace Man here with uh, the Assault Rifles Continued, the little guide. Uh, we're part three with the special weapons. Now, the special weapons, I know it's kind of ambiguous. I did that kind of for a reason. Because, as many of you are pointing out, some of these are battle rifles, some of these are special rifles. So, we're just going to call them special weapons. <laughs> okay, so weapons covered. Lee Enfield, L85A2 AWS. FN FAL, FN FAL ANPV S4, and M14 aim point. Alright, so let's get into it with an oldie but a goodie, the Lee Enfield. So, the Lee Enfield has a 10 round magazine. It fires a 303 caliber round. Um, very high firepower, effective range up to 400 meters, uh, high recoil, a lot of noise, as I'm sure many of you have <laughs> noticed. And uh, it's one shot to the body and head for both zombies and players. So, let's start off with the fire right here. I'm spamming my clicker here as fast as humanly possible. That is the max fire rate of the weapon, so it's about a second or so before you can fire again. Um, so the fire rate in general is not all that great. <laughs> So now we move on to the reacquisition and uh, 150 meter range. Let's see how it goes. So I end up hitting 9 out of my 10 targets. This gun's pretty consistent. My one miss is because of my own mistake, so yeah. So now we get into 300 meter engagements. And uh, this Lee Enfield is practically a sniper rifle, uh, if you know how to aim it. Uh, the little notch on the crosshair is a little bit thick, but it's zeroed off at 300 meters to begin with. So, as long as you put that on target, um, yeah. P.S. That was a hit when it flew up in the air. I don't know. You heard the hit sound. Um, I end up hitting five out of my five targets with this Lee Enfield. On to the gun score, I give the Lee Enfield a 6 out of 10. The reason for this, it's very accurate. If you can aim it, it's consistent. has very high damage, one shot, one kill when you can hit it. Um, the cons though, slow fire rate, and the sights are limited in CQC. CQC fuck you. <laughs> sights are limited in CQB. Close quarters, battle. Fuck. <laughs> the sights are limited in close quarters combat. Next up, we have the L85A2 AWS. This thing has thermal and night vision capabilities. Um, the effective range is 300, but this thing can zero all the way to 800 technically. Uh, it fires a 5.56 round, just like all the other standard M variant weapons. So you can imagine it's about the same damage. Uh, two shots to the body for a zombie, two to four for a player. I'll be using the thermal sight on this red target. That's kind of hard to see. But, I needed to do that because if I use a human target, it'll die. Jumping right into the 150 meter range, um, I zeroed the weapon for 200 meters and aim a little bit low. Um, so yeah, this is using a thermal scope on the red target that's a little hard to see from here. But yeah, as you can see though, the thermal sights do work in the daytime. Uh, in fact, you can't use the NVG scopes in the daytime uh, because it'll be too bright. So the thermal is your only choice in daytime. So, I also want to mention that in this scope, you actually, there actually is variable zoom. You can zoom in twice. So, uh, you know, depending on if your target's far or close, you know, you can get a little bit of extra zoom to help you engage the target. Um, <clears throat> out of these 300 meter shots, I hit every single one of them. So, I wanted to show a little footage that this thing also has NVG capability. What you do is you press N and it'll toggle between thermal and NVG. Now I wanted to show everyone that if you haven't used the thermal yet, this is what it looks like. It makes finding targets that are running through trees very easy because it's a big bright light running through the trees. So in that regard, the thermal is very effective for finding targets. Um, but the only problem with using thermal is that it's a little harder to see your surroundings because, uh, you know, everything else is so dark and uh, uniform compared to the big bright light. 
so sometimes you'll forget what direction you're facing and all that good stuff. Before I wrap this up, I also want to show you what it looks like in the daytime when you go into your MVG scope. It is lots of fun. So, the L85A2AWS gets an 8 out of 10. The reason for this, the pros, it's accurate, up to about 300-400 meters though. You don't want to really shoot past that. It has thermal vision capability, night vision capability. But, on the other hand, cons, you have moderate damage, which is just the same for all 5.56s. Um, sights are limited in CQC because of, you know, you have to scope in with that uh, thermal vision or night vision scope to see. Uh, down your quote unquote sights. Not to mention, you can only use thermal in the daytime. There's no switch to make it a normal scope. You have to be using thermal all the time. Um, and you lose situational awareness when you're constantly probing around in your scope looking for targets. You know, you lose sight of where you are. You know, you lose your bearings, as I said before. Don't get me wrong, though, this gun is really good. I mean, at a nighttime scenario, this is like hacks. Alright, on to the FN Fal. This far as a 7.62 round, uh, it's, the fire molds are semi and burst. It takes one shot to the body and head for a uh, zombie. I'd say anywhere from one to, what, two shots to kill a player in the body. And this effective range is up to 400 meters or so. So for the fire rate test, I have to put it on burst, because that's the highest mode it can go. Um, as you see, recoil is pretty high up there I only hit 10 out of my 20 targets so ideally for this gun you don't want to be using burst uh, in CQC you want to be using semi and uh, hit your target you know accurately so this gun is very much an accurate weapon um, it has nice skinny sights to hop back on target as you can see it has a bit of a kick to it even when firing on semi um, but that's because of the power of the weapon This weapon's accuracy is very consistent. As long as you aim at your target correctly, you will hit your target guaranteed every time. And with that said, I hit 5 out of my 5 targets. So, the gun score for the FMFL, I give it a 9 out of 10. The reason for this, it's very accurate, very consistent. Um, it has high damage, 7.62 round. has a decent fire rate. Um, the burst is as fast as it will possibly go when spamming the clicker. Even then, that's still pretty good for such a high caliber round. Um, the slim, skinny sight uh, is very good for distance shooting. You can kind of line it up with the 300 meter target without too much trouble. Um, the cons, though, has very high recoil, and uh, the sights are somewhat limited for CQC. They're not terrible, but at the same time, they're not as open as you probably want. Now before I get some comments saying, hey Spain, those sites are practically like the Leanne fields and you gave that a down rating for those sites, let me show you a little picture. Here are the Leanne field sites. Now here are the FN foul sites. So the way I judge if it's good for CQC is by how much of the target I can see while looking through these sites. Um, the Leanne field is a lot more limited than say this FN foul. Feel free to go back and check it out for yourself again. But on to bigger and better things. It is a slight variation of FMFL. By slight, I mean big, because now there's an MBG scope on top of it. So this version is known as the FMFL ANPV-S4. Everything is pretty much the same. Only difference is, you got an MBG scope. Now, if you remember what I told you, MBG scope in the daytime is pretty much useless. I'll show it again here real quick. So I'm obviously going to have to test the gun at nighttime only. So that's one of the big limiting factors of using this weapon. You cannot use it during the day. You maybe use it in the evening, but even then it's sometimes harder to see. So the little bit of a zoom makes it a little harder to see your target when firing at it at this close range. And as you know, the muzzle flash gets in the way a little bit and yeah, this thing has high recoil, so zooming in plus shooting with high recoil is not a good mix. So, start off shooting my 150 meter target, and it's really easy to do, obviously, because uh, this weapon's usually zoomed off at 300 meters, and the scope makes it very easy to hit a 150 meter target.
So me to save me center mass with this weapon because it's zero for 300 meters. It's very easy to do. I mean, I the scope makes it very easy to hit that 300 meter target, and I hit all five out of five of my targets. Okay, so let's hop into the gun score. I give the FMFAL ANPVS4 a 7 out of 10. Reason for that, it's just like its big brother, the FMFAL. It's accurate, high damage, decent fire rate, and has a zoomed scope for distance shooting. So that makes shooting targets at 100 meters plus a lot more easier than, say, with the iron sights. Now, onto the cons. You got high recoil, and obviously it has a giant scope on it, so it's not that good for CQC. Um, it could be very problematic if you're trying to take that weapon in. You'd probably have to fire it at the hip. Um, but the biggest thing that detracts from the score is it's only nighttime use. This gun is pretty much a piece of crap any other time of the day except nighttime. And last but not least, the M14 aim point. This far as a 7.62 round, 20 round magazines. The only fire mode is semi-automatic. Um, one shot to the body or head for a zombie. Uh, one to two shots in the body for a player. The max effective range according to this wiki is 500 meters. I, I mean, you don't really don't want to be engaged in target that, fa that far, but you know, if you have to, you can. Um, and yeah, the recoil is moderate. So as you may have noticed there, the recoil is moderate, but I was able to keep my sights on the target and that ended up getting me 20 out of 20 hits. So on to the 150 meter range. Um, with the M14 aim point, it is very easy to line up your shots uh, on the target because of the red dot scope, also known as the CCO. And as you can see, this weapon is very accurate and consistent. As long as you put that red dot on target, you will hit your target every single time. With that said, I get 5 out of my 5 targets. On to the gun score, I give the M14A point a 10 out of 10. Reasons for this, it's very accurate and consistent high damage, fast fire rate. Go ahead and go back to the fire rate test. Watch it again. That's semi-automatic and it pretty much feels like full. Uh, you got the red dot sight for CQC. It's very open, but you can also hit targets all the way up to 300 meters with that sight with no problem. Um, the cons, I guess the only real con is moderate recoil and uh, you know it's not that bad considering. I mean you pretty much have a, a CQB uh, one shot, one kill weapon mixed with a sniper rifle, practically, that can hit up to 300 meters. So, I mean, it's it's a very good gun. It's the reason why I gave it a 10 out of 10. It's one of S6's prized weapons. So, yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe and like the video if it helped you. I hope it was informative enough to actually uh, teach people stuff if they are new to the game or whatever it may be. Um, but that, that puts a wrap on the Assault Rifles Guide. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys.